Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Johnny Raffo shares a confronting photo as he fights ongoing cancer battle Australian actor and singer Johnny Raffo has shared a confronting photo of himself undergoing radiation treatment as part of his battle against brain cancer. Raffo posted a close-up photo in which he is wearing a mesh covering over his face to hold his head in place as he receives radiation treatment. The next photo showed a hospital room with a closed door and a sign that reads, Radiation No Entry. The 33-year-old captioned the photo, Another round of radiation on the cards still fighting this mofo. Pound foot cancer. It's the first health update the former home and away actor has given since last year. In September 2021, Rafo took to Instagram to share a health update with fans. At the time, he posted a sweet photo of himself and his girlfriend Tane Sims and captioned the picture, Just thought I'd jump on and give an update. I'm still kicking along with my chemotherapy treatment, feeling pretty exhausted but I'm doing great otherwise and not giving up the fight thanks for all the support. Rafo was first diagnosed with the devastating disease in November 2017. Appearing on Seven News Spotlight in June of this year, the actor and singer emotionally recalled receiving the diagnosis. Rafo revealed that he was taken to the emergency room after suffering from chronic headaches. They told me I have brain cancer. And it was like, wow, my whole world just got flipped upside down, he said. The day that it truly sunk in was maybe, I don't know, three or four weeks into radiotherapy. I was at home one day, and I was watching television, and I just went to just scratch my hair, and I had a whole clump of hair in my hand, and I just broke down and I cried and cried and cried. And I went and sat in the shower and I just ripped all my hair out and I cried so much, and it was the worst day of my life. It was horrible. After rounds of chemotherapy, Rafo officially went into remission in 2019, but the brain cancer returned in 2020. For more on this topic, follow the film and TV Observer.